as automotive content creators, we like to create things and not just these videos. We like to build things from stance cars, drift cars, fast cars, muscle cars, Jeeps, lifted trucks, you name it. But sometimes capturing yourself, building the thing and making content out of it can be pretty mundane. Mundane, yep. Let me just show you, all right? Let me show you. So you see, time lapses. How many time lapses could we ultimately do before they become just utterly boring and I'm guilty of it so I'm gonna stop that and then at the end of building the thing you just want to enjoy it the problem is getting to that point while being creative on that journey So every time I go out in the Jeep or pretty much the Challenger or anything, I always take my camera with me. Uh, so I knew we were coming up here to Austin. So I brought the camera and I brought Kayla with me. She got a new Jeep Rubicon. And uh, yeah, we just came to post up pictures. They got, it is a shop, but they got a Jeep right there. And uh, it's kind of in the way. But either way, I took the photo. Kayla, what do you think? I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool, except for that one Jeep, right? Yeah. And then like we're on this building that <laughs> looks like <laughs> it's all boarded up. We're in a scary location. Yeah, <laughs> it is true. We're probably gonna get some iced coffee, right? Yes. So, yes. The original plan, the original plan was to get coffee coffee. <laughs> but as you guys can see, I keep changing my shirt. That's cause I'm sweating my ass off working on the Jeep or doing these other things in the garage. So I gotta keep changing my shirt. So we're gonna get some iced coffee now instead. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. I always take my camera with me and Anytime I find a cool spot, I take a photo. So let's go get some coffee. All right, but back to the topic at hand. When I get to this point that I'm driving and enjoying my vehicles, just like I am the Jeep, I stop making content because I just start enjoying what I finished building. So my solution that I'm gonna start implementing to this is, well, Kayla's leaving. Let me get this coffee with Kayla and I'll tell you my solution left on James Street and then you go up the hill and uh, on the left hand side again there's like an opening for parking now I say that because I know it sounds very cheesy, just to be creative. I say that because I personally got caught in the trap of one, everything needing to be absolutely perfect for YouTube, and two, only building things, that's the create part, but not being creative in that process, only building and creating things that had a purpose, like the Challenger, for example. The Challenger has a purpose. I race the car, I have partners on that car, and in that process, I stopped being creative versus in the beginning, I was super creative and having a lot of fun. That kind of started dwindling away, and I lost the creative aspect, and I just started building these videos that just weren't very entertaining, and basically that's just a reflection on myself, and I just want to make better videos. And I'll be the first to tell you guys that even if YouTube 
didn't exist, I would still be building the things that I build, right? Because I'm not building them for YouTube. It's building cars is kind of a way of life within my family. The Jeeps, the Ram Chargers, the Challengers. It's kind of what we do for fun minus traveling. So despite YouTube, I would still be building these things. It's just that making videos is also one of my hobbies. It has been since I was really young. Now, two weeks ago now, when I was sandblasting the Ram Charger parts, you can check out that video here if you'd like. What I found was that I was just kind of going through the motions and not actually being creative with my videos. And when I did start being trying to be creative, it started taking up way too much time and I had to kind of speed up the process because I had to get out of RMS because I was there pretty much all day. And now I'm in my garage finishing what I had started, but throughout this whole video, I was trying to be more creative. Yo, I need a fan in here. Now, I'm not saying, now I'm not saying all that, uh, making fun of or judging other automotive creators. I just know that it's something that we all struggle with when you have to get a project done, also be entertaining, and also be creative. I must have said creative about 30, 40 times in this video. If somebody counts, put it down in the comments below. Damn. <laughs> I should have done this inside. <laughs> so my ultimate solution is that I'm just going to be creative and not focus on being perfect because that's not healthy for anyone, especially myself. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about my thoughts in the comments below. And in the next video, which I'm shooting tomorrow, I'm going to talk about my favorite thing about the automotive and the car community all in one nutshell. Until next time guys, peace out and I'll see you in the next video.